So in this video I'm going to talk about hooked and linked bow strokes. This is when two bow, two notes. In this video I'm going to talk about hooked and linked bow strokes. This is when two notes are played in the same bow stroke but with a slight gap between them so that it sounds like they're played with separate bow strokes. So for example, I might want to play a minim and a crotchet with hooked bow strokes like this. <laughs> the short note onto the end of the long on, onto the end of the long note so I'm going long short long short long short like that so those are pairs of hooked notes I'll just show you again so hooked notes are when a, a shorter note is tucked into the end of a longer note in the same bow stroke um, linked notes are almost exactly the same thing, or they are the same technique. The only difference is that um, the term linked is only used for notes uh, of the same length, so you don't need to wor worry too much about that, but they are notated slightly differently, which is the reason for making a distinction between them. So hooked notes are a long note and a short note tucked in together into the same bow stroke, um, and linked bow strokes are when the notes are the same length. Um, so you might want to link together two crotchets like this. So it's the same technique, playing the two notes in the same bow stroke and stopping the bow in between the notes. Um, hooked and linked bow strokes are notated slightly differently. So if you look at page 80 of Violin Works Book 1, you can see the notation there. Um, and that will hopefully make that clear. Um, so the reason for playing hooked or linked bow strokes is usually um, to make the bowing work out in a piece. So, for example, if we have uh, a piece where there are lots of minims and crotchets played um, in pairs, so it goes minim, crotchet, minim, crotchet, minim, crotchet, like that, if I don't hook the bow strokes together, there are two alternative options. One is to use a fast bow stroke on the crotchet, like this, Accents the crotchet, so it may not be the most musical option to do that. We may not always want to have a louder crotchet than the minim. Um, the other alternative is to use the same amount of bow on each note, but then look what happens. So we gradually run out of bow, we'll end up falling off the end of the bow if we carry on doing that. So um, it is possible to play um, repeated crotchets and uh, minims and crotchets without using hooked bow strokes, but it's often a lot easier just to hook the notes together. So, like this. So it's a much easier bow stroke, actually. Once you get the hang of it, it, it makes uh, life a lot easier when you have that kind of pattern to play. So the technique for playing hooked and linked bow strokes is quite simple, but may take a bit of practice just to get it to sound smooth. So the most important thing is to keep your right hand nice and relaxed and keep your fingers flexible on the bow so that you can play the gap between the notes nice and cleanly without any crunching sounds. Um, so what we do is we play the first, um, the first note of the pair of notes just as you normally would. At the end of the note just let the bow rest very gently on the string. So stop the bow and just let it sit gently on the string. So don't press down with your hand. Take the weight off the top of the bow stick and just let the bow sit on the string. And then start the second note, um, as you normally would start a note, put a little bit of weight down on the string and play the second note. So now I'll do the same thing on an up bow. So here's the long note, I stop the bow on the string and then I carry on with another up bow. Stop the bow on the string and then play the next note. Stop the bow on the string. just making the gap between the notes a bit longer than you would want it to be, um, just to practice the technique, um, then try making that gap between the notes shorter so that you, um, it's just a very fractional gap, just enough to make it sound as if you've changed bow direction. 
So I'll speed that up now. I'll start slowly and I'll gradually um, make that gap between the notes shorter.